this lighting, but <clears throat> we doing what it do. Good morning. I haven't done a sit down like chit chat kind of video in a minute, but I wanted to kind of get back to that on my channel a little bit. But if you hear anything, I have roommates and they roommating, you know what I'm saying? They just live in life. Also, everybody's getting ready for work, so there's that. Before I get into this video, I do want to apologize for this lighting. It is not my favorite. Um, <clears throat> my light that is like directly above my little seating area went out. It, well, I'm sitting on my bed. So the light directly above my bed went out and it just kind of threw off the lighting in the room. So yeah, and this is, I just, I can't get it to what I wanted to get. Um, I have other lights somewhere, but you know, I haven't unpacked everything from moving. So I don't know where those lights are right now. And I have to go, I have a meeting at 10. It's about eight something right now. So to start the day, I have some kombucha that I got from Target. I, this is my first time trying it. Um, I did get like a strawberry lemonade kombucha from Trader Joe's before. That one was pretty good. I also have some, it's mixed berry blended, non-fat Greek yogurt. And then it has some blueberries. I just love throwing blueberries in yogurt. Like, I love blueberries. I have a strange obsession with blueberries. It's not bad, but I wouldn't say it's good. You know what I'm saying? Finna get this day started. It's Thursday. Um, the week before Christmas. Not the week of, so that's good. That's good. We're gonna start with some skincare. Um, lately, I've been keeping the skincare pretty, like, not dry, but I will say, like, basic. Because I went on a stint of trying some products, and I, I don't wanna say I messed my skin up, but my skin started peeling a lot. So recently, I've been trying to um, clean up my dark marks. So I've been using just cocoa butter. You know, you know what it is. Is this good for your face? I really don't know. I haven't seen anything bad. I do notice that like my face peels a lot more without it. I also think my face started peeling because, um, you know, I have eczema and the season change, you know. So my face just, is, I have dry skin. So when I use things like vitamin C and retinol in the winter, it doesn't really do what it be doing for me in the summer. You know what I mean? And that's usually what I would use on my face, typically. But I'm really working on my dark marks for the summertime because I ain't trying to be out here wearing makeup. I'm trying to have like a little go-to no makeup makeup look with no foundation. Personally, can you believe that it's been another year? Like, the last time I did a chit chat, get ready with me video, it was a year ago. I want to say it was a year ago. So, um, I have some eye cream, it's by a company called Shackley. I'm gonna do this because the YouTubers be doing it, but I don't know if you could actually see that. Hopefully, you could. But, um, it's by a company called Shackley, it's a health and wellness brand, and um. They create all natural products. The products be so all natural that you could literally eat them and be fine. And I've been using them for a minute now. And it's crazy because without it, my my under eye my under eye bags are just like, girl, wait, wait, where's the moisture? Where'd it go? Bring it back. Bring it back. Bring it back. The year is coming to an end. I'm very excited for next year because. Oh, I don't know. I feel like every year we set goals, but I don't know if it's because I'm a year closer to 30 or what. Like, I'm just really in the have in the mindset of setting goals for my 30s. Um, I've been doing a lot of things that I don't want to necessarily take into year 30. Mind you, I'm only 27, right? But when I went to the doctor last year, um, she was discussing like habits with me and she's like, I know it seems like, you know, you can change at any time, but the habits you in your 20s with are the habits you take into your 30s. And I'm not ending my 20s for another two years, but I do want to get started on like making some better habits for myself. This kombucha has less sugar. It's very vinegary. 
like that apple cider vinegar in that joint is going crazy right now i'm not mad though because they say it helps with like gut health or whatever same thing with yogurt as you can see i'm trying to focus on gut health right now and also sorry if my voice sounds gross i just woke up i do know what day of time it is but that's because i have somewhere to be it's not that early it's just it's the first time i'm really talking for the day i have a mirror down here so if you see me looking down i'm looking at my mirror I'm going to do this quick little hairstyle that I've done before. Plot twist, I don't have any combs. So I'm going to have to use a bobby pin to achieve this look. And I'm going to have to move lightning fast. I got to be on the I-10 by 10. You see what I'm saying? So I'm trying to establish better goals for my 30th year. By my 30th year. And I am... I don't know. I'm excited for it. But also, I'm very worried. Like, if I don't establish better goals for myself, or not goals, habits. If I don't establish better habits, it's not going to go the way I think it's going to go. Like, you can plan and plan and plan and plan, right? Ugh. And things still don't go your way. But also, if you don't plan, if you fail to plan, you plan to fail. You see what I'm saying? So, I have, like, some financial goals that I want to meet physical goals um even like some emotional and spiritual goals like i have some savings goals i want to get back into church next year for sure i stopped going to church like that at the beginning of the pandemic there was a lot going on at the church i was going to at the time so i understood why but like why i never went back to be honest i still know why i don't go to church to this day it's because a lot of like older people be going to church like people's grandmas and stuff and personally i just don't want to be the reason why somebody gets sick and that's really it it's not that i have beef with church or whatever it's just that i be outside is this working? I don't know if this is working. I don't know if this is working. I'll be outside and I don't want to be the reason why somebody gets sick. That's like a really big thing for me because older people, they be fragile. And I don't want to, um, like I said, I don't want to be the reason why somebody's grandmother get sick from going to church or something because i'm in there and i know i was outside the night before or just been outside i'd be going to work in the office like little stuff like that so ever since the pandemic i've been kind of like avoiding church because of that because i was not always social distancing like i should have i need a brush hold on because i have a brush i'm just like super focused on the future right now but still living in the present i'm glad that i did all the things that i was going to do this year most of the things i did this year were off camera you guys saw like the highlights i want to say but this year was just really hard for me like i lost my grandmother this year which is not something i really talked about too too much on youtube i went through a did this roller band just okay okay my rubber bands are flimsy got it but yeah i'm just excited about the new year uh, i'm going to visit my dad for christmas so i'll be in philly and um for new year's i'm actually going to go visit my bestie so that's another little trip i'll be taking so that's like two little road trips i have before this new year even starts these um parts that i'm doing are not straight but like I said, I do not have a comb. So I'm doing the best I can with what I got, okay? <clears throat> okay, can we talk about the Scissor album? Because, oh, I'm fighting. I'm fighting for them tickets tomorrow. Her album tour goes on sale. Like, the tickets for her tour goes on sale tomorrow. And I'm excited because... I've never seen SZA live before. And I mean, you can debate about whether her live 
her live performance is as good is going to be as good as her album to be honest from what i've heard i don't know because i've heard mixed reviews about her singing and her but i'm excited her album spoke to me on a lot of levels i went through a breakup last year i've been single for a year and it just feels i want to say it just feels weird i need to make these parts a little bit bigger because it's just gonna take me all day otherwise if i don't so the next one i guess we'll make that one a little bit bigger so i'm gonna part this down the middle because that's what I should have did to begin with. See, if I can even do it, this might be a dub because <laughs> what? This is like harder than I thought it was gonna be. In my brain, this idea was bulletproof. I've been so busy at work. Um, anybody else work like ramp up for the end of the year? No, from Thanksgiving till now, till last week, I was chilling. I wasn't that busy. Semi busy. But now, girl. Girl. My supervisor is going out of town. Is that the middle? I can't even tell. I can't even tell. I don't know. We're going to assume this is the middle. If it's not, do not clown me. I am struggling. I need a comb. I have a comb somewhere. I just can't find anything right now. I don't know why. I just can't find anything. But yeah, the um from Thanksgiving to like two weeks ago, I was chilling. Or like last week, I was chilling. Now, for whatever reason, I am stressed out. <clears throat> like my supervisor, she's going out of town next week. So there was like a bunch of things I needed to get done before she left because she needed to see them because... After next week, we go on break till after the new year. That kombucha is kind of growing on me. So yeah, my supervisor is going out of town. Um, we have this break coming up. As soon as the new year kicks off, I have so many ideas for next year. So I'm in charge of the calendar for the entire department and kind of like putting that together. And because it's like my second cycle going through um, calendar planning and stuff with this department on this team, um, they're really looking at me for like some innovative ideas for how to manage the calendar for next year And I have some really good ones. I found a really cool template on Excel that I'm interested in using and usually We have like a little issue with distributing the calendar because people would say they get it. Some people say they don't so I'm actually just gonna put the calendar in one central location for everybody to be able to access and I hope that goes as well as I think it will I have hope for it, but at the same time, I'm not going to, I don't know how to say this without saying it. I be so tired of people's assistance, y'all. Like, it's not even the executives that kill me with their lack of tech savvy. It's really their assistance because their assistants will like ask me for things that I've already given them. CC my supervisor. Why are you CC my supervisor? My supervisor was CC when I sent it to you the first time. What are you trying to do, Betty? What are you trying to do? I had this one girl, literally, she was like, oh, my, my exec, he, um, this meeting popped up, but this meeting's not on his calendar. And she didn't, I, you know, I feel like in emails, you can always sense when people have a bit of two, you know what I'm saying? She gave attitude, but at the same time, the call that she was talking about, she contacted me a day after the call. And I remember seeing her exec on the call. So I'm like, Betty Lou, if it's not on his calendar, why was he there? And furthermore, I sent you the calendar at the beginning of the year with all of these dates. So isn't that your job? Like they be wanting to be spoon fed sometimes and it just frustrates me like, we have like so many people that I have so many people that I'm emailing in a week and everybody wants a personal calendar invitation. That is insane. That is insane. If I take the time to put together a calendar, the least you could do is have your assistant put it on your calendar. Like this is stuff that I would have got reprimanded for at like old jobs. 
So it really triggers me when they be CCing my supervisor. I just find it to be like a personal attack. Like you're trying to say I'm not doing my job and I just don't appreciate that. Like, and so what I started doing was the way they would CC my supervisor, I would CC their supervisor right back. See how you like that? How you like them apples? You can stop playing with me. And now when they email me, they don't CC my supervisor. They just email me and that's it. And that's what you gotta do. So the next thing I wanna talk about is, talked about work, talked about the SZA album. The next thing I wanna talk about is like boundaries and like my journey with like having stricter boundaries. So that's definitely one of the habits I wanna establish for next year for sure is just being stricter in my boundaries. This looks so crazy, y'all. Really wanted to do something with the front of my hair and it's giving, I should have just left it alone. But yeah, so I really wanna be stricter with my boundaries next year. Um, I feel like I've been doing a good job of being strict with my boundaries and just kinda like putting um, a healthy distance between me and some of the things that like, I felt like were really taking up the most of my time Oh my god, that looks horrible. <laughs> but yeah, I feel like I was really like, I put a healthy distance between me and some of the things that I felt like were deterring me from my goals. And um, also things that were just rubbing me the wrong way. Whether it be people, situations, like anything that I felt like it left me feeling less than what I started with. I just let it go. Cause like you ever hang out with somebody and then it's like they leave you feeling not raw, but just like bothered. I don't know how to explain it. Like I had some people in my life who like I would hang out with them and I would just leave feeling less than what I came feeling. And I have to understand that like those people just aren't my people. Not everybody's gonna be for me. I'm the type, I really do get along with like, I could get along with just about anybody. And I like am a friendly person. I like harmony and stuff like that. So for the sake of harmony, I used to let a lot of things slide. I would just like bite my tongue and let things slide for it. And I wouldn't like, not necessarily stand up for myself, but I would just let them get away with more than I wanted to for the sake of peace and harmony. So these days, I have been um, like speaking up more for what I feel and like standing more in my truth of, you know, I didn't like that. That brought me the wrong way. I felt this way about that. If I have to leave you with an unsatisfactory feeling, life is too short for me to even be around you. And that's just how I feel. Like, I should f be surrounded by love and peace. And, you know, I shouldn't have to bite my tongue to keep the peace around people who I choose to hang around. There's plenty of opportunity and space for that at places like the office. I don't know, church. I don't know, like, places where I don't have control over who's beside me, who's around me, who I'm interacting with. Like, there's gonna be plenty of opportunities in life where I can't pick the person next to me. But when I do, I should, you know, I should be enjoying myself. I shouldn't be feeling, um, you know, I shouldn't be feeling like, I don't fuck with you. I shouldn't just have this like, drain feeling when I leave you you know what I mean and that goes for family too because that's that's one thing people don't like talking about this rubber band popped y'all what's going on in the world so I've been really like just distancing myself from those people who I feel like drained when I be around them a lot or just people who I feel like make comments that I don't necessarily like because like, there's a time and place for shade, but I do notice when I'm hanging around people and every time I see them, they throw shade. <laughs> it's like, because like, what if I was having a bad day? You know what I mean? It's just little things like that. 
but I can't talk because me, I crack a lot of jokes. Um, because in my family, talking shit is kind of like a love language. We love talking shit about each other. And it's all in fun and games, but people don't always like, they didn't, they weren't raised with me. So they don't know that I'm kidding sometimes. Or like they don't internalize it that way. So yeah, in, in acknowledging how I feel, I had to kind of like take a look at like how I might be making others feel also and kind of just like chill and cut back a little on what I could be doing to make somebody uncomfortable. So when I took my little hiatus from YouTube, I talked about like some things that I was working on. So a certification, I was trying to like get a new job. Um, I don't know what I told you guys, but I am interested in going back to school too. I don't know how near in the future that's going to be. I know next year I'm applying for sure because so my goal is to get an MBA and I think I want to get my MBA in finance. I think if I'm not mistaken, I really want to meet with a career coach to discuss it because next year I'm very focused on career development for myself um i'm like super excited about the possibilities i'm also asking for a raise next year which is going to be the first time i'm ever doing that in my career like ever super excited very nervous but super excited i've been planning this since like last year so basically last year we had like a my role in my company we don't necessarily everybody has to make goals we don't necessarily have to make goals for my role but i knew that i wanted to ask for a raise at some this rubber band just popped oh my f like now i have to redo this whole side do you hate me now i just feel like it's not meant to be if one of them if one more pops like on this side i'm not i'm not gonna do this anymore I'm just gonna take it out and do something else because you thought I was spilling you. But yeah, um, so what I did was I made informal goals. I asked my supervisor if I could make some like informal goals just so I could have something to track my progress and progression within the position. And one thing I do wish I did this year more was pay attention to my goals because I made them and it has stuff to do with like my everyday processes in the company but I wish I would have paid a little bit more attention to them because um I really didn't like I look I glanced at them from time to time but I really didn't like take like seriously analyze them until recently when I discovered that like you know I could have been doing a little bit better for some of them but I mean, it's all a part of like the learning process and, and career progression and things like that. Like you have to learn and I'm learning the hard way sometimes, but nonetheless, I am learning. But I did really well in some aspects, but other aspects, it's something that I did terrible in. I just feel like I probably could have done a little bit better. So, um, so yeah one thing for next year some of my goals are going to transfer over but i'm definitely going to amp them up a bit because now that i'm getting the hang of this and i'm doing a little bit more in the role i'm just excited to kind of expand my job description a little bit more and so i was talking to my dad about it he basically was like if you don't if you ask for the raise and they say no um ask for a title promotion instead because that's one thing I am interested in. So right now I'm at kind of like at the associate level of what I do. And I really would like to go to either the senior associate level or the management level. Sometimes my supervisors do slip up and call me a manager and it goes straight to my head. Um, but I'm not a manager. <laughs> I wish I was, but I'm not. Next year is going to be a big career progression year for me. I'm going to just really be focused on it. I'm getting my certification next year. And one thing about goals that I've been learning is that you have to put a time limit on them, like some sort of expiration date on when you would like to have this accomplished by. So my goal for um, the certification is to have it 
by the end of February, which means I have stuff that I really need to focus on and like buckle down. So after New Year, I'm going in the cut in the lab, okay? Because I have stuff to do, places to go, people to see, all that. So yeah, like I have stuff to do and I'm tired of you know, just not being as productive as I would like to be. Because you know how you know what you're capable of as a person. And you know when you're not operating at that full level that you could be. And it just, for me, it just feels like I'm running out of time. Which isn't true. Uh, I mean, you never know when your last day is going to be on this earth. So maybe it is true, you know. But also, I just feel like, for me... Um, if I don't get started on these goals soon, who knows when I'll be able to actually accomplish them. And I know that sounds bad, but like life happens, you know, and I'm getting to the point where life could happen to me. You never know like when life is going to like throw a curveball at you. And me, I already have had a couple of curveballs this year. In terms of my living situation, like, I moved to my mom's house. I moved out of my mom's house. So, it's like, I would just rather be prepared. And I feel like that's what I'm interested in doing next year is just setting myself up for to be prepared for anything. Like, at any given moment, I'm not ready for a crisis. I don't, like, I don't have plans for that. And I should. I should have, like, a disaster plan for myself. The way these companies do also at least that's just how i feel i already have a friend who's building a bunker for the end of the world and i know that sounds crazy right but when the world ends but when the world ends let me tell y'all i'm gonna have somewhere to go period i'm afraid don't be i'm afraid don't be Okay, I'm about to put some oil in my hair real quick. Okay, so now that we're done with that, we can move on to the makeup. And we're doing a quick beat today. So I like changed my little natural, um, my natural look that I be going for. First things first, I'm gonna go in with my SPF. Now there is no sun out today. It is raining, but you never know when that sun's gonna peek its head. So I'm gonna put some on. Also in my video that I'd made when I did the little hiatus, I talked about how I was going to um, move next year, relocate or whatever. And I have officially decided against that. Now, I don't know how long this decision is gonna last, I just know next year is not the year for me to be doing all that. Next year, I need to sit down. Because I had a serious conversation with my father about, like, moving and stuff. First of all, my family was very worried about me going out there in the first place. Um, so they were like, oh, it's not the safest place in the world. But, like, where is the safest place in the world? I don't live there now, so what? And then, um... They also were like, you're not going to be near your family. And my family is not the type to, well, my dad is, but even him, like, he's not the type to move somewhere just because he thinks it's cool. Like, he's the type to move somewhere because he has a job there. And my mom, she's not the type to move somewhere that's not near her family. She's a very much a family-oriented kind of person. So they just don't understand my need to like get away i love the dmv but you know i have to go some people can stay here forever me i would love to like raise kids in this area don't get me wrong but until that ha i'm not ready for that yet and so until that happens i want to experience life in another place and i thought next year was like the year that i was going to be doing all that and living my best life but i decided that i'm gonna put it off 
at least for another year because I feel like I need to master living where I'm at and like um it's not like I'm not doing well it's just that like I got into a situation with my old apartment and went back to my mom's house you know what I mean like, if I move and I get into a situation where I have to leave ASAP because something's happening, and I didn't get evicted, just FYI, but something happened. And long story short, like, I, I can't just up and go back to my parents' house. They don't live there. So it's like, I wasn't ready for that situation. And it just taught me a lot about what I think I'm doing versus what I'm actually doing. You see what I mean? And where I'm at now is cool. But even here, like, I had to kind of like rebuild when I first got here. I mean, I've only been here a couple months, but I was like, not down bad, but life was lifing for that first month. So I was just doing too much. I was in Boston, I was in Jamaica, just doing the most. And life is finally starting to calm down. So I feel like here I can definitely focus on my goals a little bit more. And I did put my time limit on how long I want to be here. Because right now I share a space with two roommates. And I know that this year one of my goals for real is to move into my own apartment for sure. Like I don't know how long I want to spend saving up for that. But it's definitely a goal of mine because... um. Like one, I just like the freedom of it. I also have a lot of decor ideas that I'm just not able to do here. One, because there's like a strict lease. And then two, because I have roommates. So, and they have opinions also. And we all have to take each other's opinions into consideration before we just up and do whatever we want. You know what I mean? Also, like this situation isn't super conducive for my bunny like she's not able to roam about like she would like and you know she's a happy bunny but like i just feel like she could be happier and with her own space which she doesn't have right now so that's another reason why i'm excited to get my own spot i'm also excited because like i can do more content um, I don't have to worry about somebody watching loud YouTube videos in the back and stuff like that. My roommate right now is watching a YouTube video. I don't know if you can hear it. But, yeah, like, I just don't have to worry about nobody but myself. I don't have to, you know, like, there are some days I come home and I just want to be alone, like. And, I mean, I do, like, at my first apartment, I was getting very lonely, so I do appreciate coming home to people, but also see the value in like choosing when you come home to people and like if you don't want to, not being, not having to, because I don't always be in a social mood. My days are long and hard and I be tired. And then also like waking up for work. I swear, like, we we have one bathroom in this joint, and it's just a struggle. Like, I ain't complaining. I'm just saying it's a struggle. It just takes me back to college is all, and that's a lot. Have you guys bought Christmas presents yet? Well, by the time you see this video, it'll already be Christmas, but I haven't bought Christmas presents. Um, I'm in the process of doing that now. I'm also like really focusing on the kids this year so they're not new additions but we have some kids in the family and like I just remember Christmas was always lit for us kiddos back in the day and I just want to make sure that like I mean of course like my elders are still going to make sure that the kids have like a great Christmas but when it comes to my contribution I think I'm just focusing on the kids this year I want to make sure they got like some really cool stuff my little cousin sent me her Ooh, one of my eyebrows is way thicker than the other one. One of my little cousins sent me her um Christmas list. So I'm getting her something off of that. And I was pretty much asking people like what their kids are into. 
Um, I already ran all the gifts by their parents to make sure that everybody was like okay with what I'm getting their kid. Because like one thing I would hate is to get somebody something and their parent is like, why would you do that? Why would you do that? Because I know like one, some of these gifts can be annoying because they make noise or like they have like too many pieces. Two, I don't want to get something that's like not appropriate for them. So like I have young cousins and a lot of these toys have like choking hazards and like all this other stuff. So I just wanted to make sure because you know toys are expensive child. Before I spin my coin, the only thing I don't, the only person I don't know what I'm getting for is my mom. I already know what I'm getting my dad. My dad is a pretty like simple guy when it comes to gifts. He told me what he wanted and it's easy peasy. No problem. No problem, governor. But also my dad had asked for something earlier in the year. And me and my brother never got it because we were both like doing a lot at the time, wasn't able to do it. So what he asked for earlier in the year, I'm going to get him. He doesn't know this, but he, he's just only expecting what he asked for. But he's about to get more than that. And the only other people I need to shop for are like his girlfriend and her family. I do not know like usually they put together like lists and stuff I didn't get everybody's list this year so I need to go find that I forgot to tell you guys like what products I'm using so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put them on the screen somewhere so yeah I have to get everybody's Christmas gift I'm excited about just Christmas in general like Christmas is my favorite holiday, for real, for real. It really is. It's my favorite. Like, Thanksgiving and Christmas. I think because, like, Christmas is my favorite because my family throws down, like, Thanksgiving, but then you get presents, too. And so that's why I think Christmas is my fave, for sure. I wanted to do Vlogmas this year, but, you know, I... This just popped. I'm so stressed out. Um, I'm putting some powder on before I start because recently I've been getting mad oily and I don't know what that's about. Especially like my nose and stuff, but it doesn't happen initially. It happens like when I've been wearing my makeup for some time and I don't really carry it with me. So I just want to make sure it doesn't get oily throughout the day so yeah I painted this foundation over the summer oh shit I saw it on TikTok I like it right only thing I don't like about it is that this foundation is orange as hell and like when I put it on my face I felt like the 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 match was pretty cool, but it is wonder hell. And I stopped contouring because um, I just feel like I didn't really need it. But with this, I feel like I need it. But I mean, it, to me, it blends pretty good. But also, my eyes could be like playing tricks on me. And the coverage of this is pretty good too, as you can see. And I don't put as much on my forehead because my forehead is a bit darker. So I still like to see that like natural contour come through on the forehead. Um, so I don't put as much up here. 
so it's still visible. There are so many concerts coming up in the new year. First of all, first of all, so the first concert I'm planning to go to is a division concert. Um, then shortly after that, this is a concert. Then I was going to go see Ari, right? But I'm planning to go to the Dreamville Festival and I'm pretty sure Ari's going to be there. So I'll just see her there because sorry to you if you try to get a ticket when she dropped them. To be honest, if you ask me, there was no point in even trying because them tickets sold out like that. Yeah, next the person next coming in town is Jill Scott. Me and mine, we grew up on that Miss Jill Scott. And it's like her anniversary tour, so you know she about to bring the house down. She gonna be at MGM with it. I'm in there. Say no more. Key Glock. I lied. Before her, Key Glock is coming. Going to Key Glock. I love Key Glock. Like, I don't know what it is. Actually, I do. I just like trap. I just like trap music. Like, I love it. I love trap music. I can't, I can't lie. Trap music is that girl for me. Like, don't, I'm a, I'm an R&B type of person. I feel like more so these days. But when I'm in that trap vibe, oh, crank it up. Yo. My revenge just popped again. Yo. When I tell you guys I'm losing it right now, I'm losing my patience. Like with these flimsy rubber bands. I know I've had them for a while, but sheesh, like you really didn't have to do me like that. That's embarrassing. That's really all, all I have planned for next year. I do have one trip planned, even though I told myself that was a part of my financial goals. I told myself that I wasn't going to travel next year because I felt like I was putting more focus on traveling than like my just everyday life and my career goals and stuff like that. I really wanted to sit down next year. But I'm telling you, like, I'm a traveler. Like, I cannot sit in one spot for too long. The only way I'm able to do daily life productively is because I have a trip coming up that I'm focusing on. You know what I mean? Like, it just keeps me sane. It keeps me, like, going. I couldn't work a nine to five and not have vacations booked. It's just not. I really don't think. I could like to be honest I don't think I could it's not for me so next we're gonna do blush I like this girl right here it's by Milani it's in a loom I don't know the words I want to call it illuminating or whatever but it's like the blush that has the highlight in it do i sound uneducated i don't know i can't sit down like i need to like do something but i told myself i was just gonna do like little road trips next year and um just the one trip that i have planned and it's not an expensive trip that's really why it's on the books really and that'll just keep me grounded that'll keep me like not starving to jump on a plane and get out of here at least so that'll be good i'm excited about that i'm actually trying to set up like a vision board um so this year i decided to do like a digital vision board for next year i was gonna do it with my friend but i don't know if our schedules will align by christmas i really worked on validating myself this year a lot like i um like I struggled with self-validation. Like before when I would post YouTube videos, I used to have to ask people a hundred times, what do you think of this thumbnail? Before I posted anything on Instagram, like it had to like be approved by my friends and stuff. Like I just, it was a sickness needing other people's like validation and approval. And I still do ask people for their opinions and stuff, but it's not nearly as much as it used to be. Like it's really not. Before, it was a lot. It was too much. And I feel like that was a one thing that was playing into 
my lack of decision making was constantly needing somebody's opinion to validate myself and I'm not burdened by that anymore praise God because that was like one of my worst traits I'm not gonna lie it was like you come off so confident but like are you you know eh, I didn't like the way I did that I'm gonna put a little bit of this on and kind of just like blend it in Yeah, this is a lot. This is not a little bit. That's better. I want to look like a donut today. Glazed. I wish there was like a Krispy Kreme on the way to my office. I could really go for a Krispy Kreme right now. Okay, I'm about to apply mascara and then to be honest, I'm finished. But yeah, so this year is about refocusing. Um, let me know in the comments, like, what are some things you guys are interested in working on for yourselves next year? Um, I'd like it to be a little discussion if we can, because like, I'm really going to be big on motivation next year. Not like motivational speaking on YouTube or anything, just like my own motivation and my own goals. So my content is it's going to be a little bit the same, a little bit of the same, but it's going to be different also in a lot of aspects. And I'm excited for that because this year I did try some new things with my content. And I will say like this year, my channel did a lot better than it did like the first year when I was really trying to be consistent and really like going for trends and stuff like that. Like I really didn't do any trendy things this year. At least not that I can recall. Sometimes you can follow trends and not even know it. You know what I mean? Because they're just all over the place all the time. Whew. All right, y'all. So this is the finished look. So I did struggle with the hair. I kept the edges a little bit on the frizzier side just to match like the, the vibe of my hair and on the thicker side too. So yeah, this is the little look that I'm gonna go with for the Christmas party at work. Um, I have a little jacket that I'm gonna throw on with it and some heels, but this is it. This is what she's giving. We're playing ping pong. So I don't know how long, actually I lie playing ping pong so i'm actually gonna wear vans not heels but i have to run to work now i hope you guys enjoyed this video i hope you guys enjoyed chit chatting with me um getting ready with me to go to work because we always going to work around these parts we're always working have a good day happy holidays and i think that this video will be dropped like around new year so if i don't see you guys before then happy new year Thanks for rocking with me. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you would like. Chat with me in the comments below. Let me know what you guys think about some of the things I said and also some things that you're looking forward to working on for next year. For all my late 20s girlies moving into 30 pretty soon, let me know what you think. Like, let me know some things that you're planning for for your 30s and things like that. I know that, like, for some of us, it is a little bit far away, but you fail to plan, you plan to fail period and yeah i hope you guys enjoyed the video and i will catch you in my next one all right all right